party people it is friday <laughs> happy friday ladies and gentlemen how's it going scenario good to see you as always welcome to today's fun and awesome live that is going to be today how's it going ladies and gentlemen welcome welcome happy friday everybody hope everybody's feeling good feeling pumped Happy to see everybody. Tell me how you're doing. Where are you from? What are you up to? Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. What is it for you? Let me know. Tell me your name too. Quantum Blonde, ladies and gentlemen. That's my lady. Follow her. She's amazing. Quantum Blonde. She's also very, extremely gorgeous. <laughs> uh, wherever you are, um, I don't know what you do for a living, but hopefully you don't work tomorrow. Even if you do, it's okay. Um, it's all right, we're gonna pump you up with good energy. I also am taking today, typically I would do the high vibes uh, pump you up like I did last week, but I wanna take some, an opportunity to really interact with all of you, answer some questions, or and or also um, any, any issues that you have or any sort of roadblocks or challenges that you're experiencing right now that I could help with. You know, I would like to take this opportunity to see if I can help. So, how's it going, Paula? Good to see you. Um, so just let me know. Um, I really like to interact with my followers. I think it's really important. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for following me and for all the kind messages that all of you always are sending. I'm just here to spread the love. I'm here to show everybody, right? that we are here to to really just grow as human beings and i love this platform because it allows me to connect with people from all over the world like yourselves and uh you know i'm just really really happy to to be able to help some of you and uh hopefully some of you can take some of these messages or these tools and apply them and just change your life and just be happy because you can do so all right Paula, high anxiety, anticipating surgery soon. Ooh, sending you nothing but high vibrations, Paula. Everything's gonna be fine on your surgery. Hang in there, okay? Um, remember, you already know. You you pretty much have been on all my lives, know all my messages. You know the power of, 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 uh, of your thoughts, how strong it is. So don't let those negative thoughts get the better of you, all right? Your surgery is gonna go fine. Everything is going to be a great, sending you really, really high and great vibrations your way. Okay, uh, we don't, we don't, we, wait, shit, we don't got, fa, no, okay. I'm not going to say the last word. It says, uh, I sometimes get really anxious about the future and having to work nine to five for the rest of my life. What is your name? Because I don't want to, um, <laughs> I don't want to say your handle, but, um, I understand, I used to feel that way. Um, honestly, like I, 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 I get that. How old are you also, if you don't mind sharing? Um, I, think it's, I think we all experience that, right? Uh, we experience that feeling of the unknown and, and like, oh man, like what is the future gonna look like? I don't wanna, I don't even love this job and I don't wanna just be working all my life. And nine to five, that's a lot of hours, right? Um, so, I think what I would recommend for you is, um, hang on, let me see. It's okay, it's Alexis. <laughs> Thank you, Alexis, appreciate it. <laughs> 17, okay. Yeah, so you're 17, it's totally normal, I mean, to feel this way, right? I mean, when I was 17, I was like, oh man, I, I was living on my own. I was uh, living in my car, actually. Uh, yeah, so I was like trying to survive. <laughs> trying to survive but um, yeah I think that this beautiful journey that you're on right now Alexis is is that it's beautiful and there's gonna be a lot of growth coming your ways in this, these next couple of years you know all until up into your 20s and your 20s are huge at least were for me a lot of growth a lot of excitement a lot of great things and you know the 9 to 5 uh, thing is try to find something at least that that you have interest in. See if, if it's something that you really want to do. So you're in this exploratory uh, season right now of your life. Where you're just getting out into the workforce and 
Um, you know, whatever interests you, just go for it. Try it out, get a job. Oh, you know what, I didn't like it. Okay, get, try out something different. Um, and you can afford to do that at this point. And uh, I think that will really, really help you when you get to your 20s um, and like, okay, I've done this, this, and this, and this. This is what I wanna do. And maybe it's the entrepreneur side of the house or maybe you end up working for a company that you absolutely love. It doesn't matter. Um, but don't be anxious about it, be excited, okay? Just be like, wow, I get to choose, I get to play around essentially with different jobs and different things. That's pretty cool. Um, so it's all about perspective. Don't let that be like, oh, I'm, I'm afraid, although it's there initially. But instead, you know, just be like, you know what? It's kind of cool. I get to just see what I like and explore different avenues. So you're gonna do amazing. You're gonna do great things, I'm sure. Just don't put so much pressure on yourself and just have fun with it, Alexis. That would be my recommendation to you. Okay, how's everybody else doing? How are we doing? What's on your mind? What's been some things that have been fogging you, your perspective? What are some things that have been getting in the way of your happiness, you think? What are some things that are, uh, yeah, on your mind? Please share, this is, this is what this live is for. So, hello from New York City. Hello, Un, uh, Unity Sage. How, how are you doing? New York City. How are we doing? If you guys don't start talking, I will. <laughs> Where are you from? I am from all over the place, but originally, um, I was born and raised in Argentina and moved to the United States in 1999. I've been here since then and I lived in California, Florida, Oregon, Utah. Then I went to um, Europe for a year or six months in England and then I came back, lived in California for 10 years and now I live in beautiful Tennessee. Juliana843 says, you're a breath of fresh air from all the crazy TikToks I see, Charleston, South Carolina. Thank you so much, Juliana, for your very kind message. I really appreciate it. You know, TikTok is a great platform. I think that it connects people in very different ways. There's entertainment, there's like craziness, there's humor. There's a little bit for anybody and everybody, and that's the great thing about it. Um, I chose to, you know, I've always known about it and I didn't get into it up until later and I chose to use this platform to just connect with people, to help people and really like just try to inspire people since I know a lot of youth and a lot of people from all ages actually are in this, this, this platform. There's a lot of distractions and things like that. Hopefully, you know, somebody runs into one of my messages and that's something that maybe they needed to hear. Maybe that's, that made a difference in their day. Maybe it gave them hope. Um, and it's not just because, you know, it's what I do, like being a life coach, it's because I, I, it's what I do, why I'm so passionate about it. Because I want to spread the love. I want to really help people. That is my passion. So, um, yes, thank you so much for your kind message. I really appreciate it. And uh, you know what? I just never put the thought of like, oh, I hope people like my message. If you guys look at it, I'm in a hoodie most of the time. Like I'm just, I'm not trying to do any secret special effects or anything like that. I'm very raw with everything. Everything that I say comes from the heart. It comes from experience and with the whole intent to just help you. Help any single one of you. Maybe, like I said, it's something you just need to hear, an inspiration, whatever it is. but. Um, there's no, I don't want anything in return. I just want to help. So thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Do you support LGBTQ? Yes, I do. I support all races, all genders, all, I uh, yes, absolutely. 100%. Hi from WV. Hello, Baker girl for one. How are you doing? Kisses from Italy. Ciao. Mina grazie. Maida, my Myro, Myro, three six nine. I love Tennessee. Yes, I love Tennessee too. I went to Utah. Nice. 
yeah, I, I love Utah. It's, it's, I don't love Utah, but I do like it to visit. Um, I do have some family still lives there and it's beautiful. Very, very outdoorsy. Um, what do you do for a living? I am a life and health coach, uh, as well as an entrepreneur. We, um, I have, I help my, my girlfriend with jewelry business. She has a female's jewelry business, and then I do the men's. This is all our stuff here, uh, men's jewelry business. It's called Nomad. Um, and just a little bit of everything, honestly, but just mainly entrepreneurship. But my main focus is uh, life and health coaching. So, um, hence the handle. So that's that's what I primarily do for a living. Uh, we need more like you. Thank you so much, Juliana. I appreciate that. Katie King says, "What are we talking about?" <laughs> we are just. Uh, we're talking about general people are asking questions uh, this TikTok, uh, Katie is just for um, anybody who has anything they want to talk about or ask any questions um, I'm allowing this live to be open in an open agenda and just with positive vibrations and and uh, going into the weekend with uh, yeah good vibes so there's no real topic really if, if that answers your question uh, Juliana says his reasoning for being on TikTok. Oh yes, thank you. Wow, I'm really behind. You're welcome. Thank you, Juliana. Um, I went to Utah as well. Nice, University of Tennessee friend. Go Bulls, yeah. I just got back a couple days ago. Yeah, Utah is really pretty. Uh, a lot of outdoors stuff to do. If you like hiking, uh, in the winter you can do great snowboarding or skiing and uh, just anything outdoors, really camping, all that. They have, from Southern Utah, you have like um, Zions, or not Zions, uh, what is it, St. George, all the way up to Weaver and stuff, like it's really pretty. How are you? I am fantastic. I am just great. I'm feeling grateful today, as I do every single day. Grateful to be able to talk to you guys. Grateful to be able to be in good health, to come and show up here. Grateful for this day, for beautiful day for everything in my life, for the abundance, for the health, for the everything. I'm just super, super grateful. Um, how are you doing, Jamie Bond? One, two, 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 two. Officially, Carissa says hi. My cast says hi, meow. <laughs> Saluti di la Italia, ciao. Uh, Juliana says, I am a physician. Uh, reproductive medicine. Cool. Any advice for patients who are extremely stressed out? Yes. So, stress is such a huge, huge one due to infertility. I'm loving your attitude. Thank you so much. Hi, Shannon from Southern California. Hi, hello, everybody. Okay, let me, I want to answer Juliana's question. So, when it comes to stress, you know, a lot of, a lot of it is caused by the thoughts, right? Obviously, um, in this particular um, situation, Juliana writes, obviously people, they're trying to start a family. It's a big deal. There's a lot of emotions involved with that. So when you have emotions and thoughts and also like fear or like wanting something so bad and, and unsure if it's going to work out smoothly, you get caught in that tornado, if you will, of emotions and thoughts, right? So the best thing to do, I would say in those situations, what I would tell your, your clients is to just say, you know what, just take a deep breath from here on out, you know, we're just, everything is gonna happen the way it's supposed to and just, just relax, live your lives, you know, you've already come here and you know, we, whether hopefully they've already taken action on, on what to do or if the case is like, oh, like you're, you know, um, I don't know what the situation is, but whatever the stress is, it's helping them understand that the thoughts that they need, they're having about being anxious and things like that, you know, it just, it helps to hear from somebody else, especially from the doctor to say, you know what, everything's going to be all right. You know, it will all work out the way it's supposed to. And just really just focus on living your life. And, and, you know, you're, you're, you're here, you know, whether you give a medicine or whatever the treatment is, um, we're going to do our best to take care of you and just, just breathe and just everything is gonna be okay. That's what I would say, like, because anything else that I say is too deep, right? Obviously you have to address stress at a much deeper, deeper level, but 
Breathing is huge. Um, I, I find myself that breathing is one of the secrets that I found to reduce anxiety and reduce stress. Because when you take deep, deep breaths and you just focus on your thought on your breath, you're, you're, you're shifting the thought of whatever is coming in that's causing you that anxiety to now just focusing on your breath. And when you get anxiety or stress, your heart rate starts to rise, right? So by breathing, you're calming your, your heart rate, you're reducing your blood pressure, and it kind of cohesively works together. So breathing is a huge one that you can do, um, that you can get into a good rhythm, and then just you know doing something else to distract you, to not constantly be thinking about that, uh, in which you can't do anything about, would also be my advice. I don't know if that helps, but that would be, because anything else is too, it's really, really deep, right? Um, and now, of course, you don't want to get that deep with these folks. Maybe you do. I don't know. But that would be my recommendation. Happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. That is beautifully said, Arman, Armanda Dolperia44. Thank you for sharing that. You know, happiness comes within also. It's not something that... Uh, necessarily that you got to look for. I think that's something that I try to teach, you know, to everybody too, is everybody is like, oh, I want to be happy. That's the number one thing with all my clients, right? Oh, I, I just want to be happier in life. That means that you're, obviously your current state is not, it's not great. It's pretty obvious, but why do you want happiness? And what does happiness mean to you? That is very, very important understanding that. And I asked that question, and I like to hear what people say. A lot of people say, well, because I don't have enough money in my bank, or well, because I don't have the house that I want to, well, because I'm not in that relationship that I want to be, or this and that. It's always the wants. And 90% of the time comes from the outside, right? It's It comes from things that they want in the outside world, but very rarely do I hear things that come from the inside, right? And then I help people see that realistically, that those things that you want are because of something that you're missing inside and you're trying to fill that that space, that void. Does that make sense? So I think happiness is something that I always do, you know, I always want to show people that it exists within you, in your soul, in your heart, in your body. But you have to come into terms as that you can tap into that happiness, that you can be at peace with yourself to be able to feel that happiness, whatever it means to you. So, um, yes, it's good to go out there and do things that make you happy. It's, I, it's important to go out and, and go for walks and get fresh air and be with friends and all the other things. Those are all great stuff. But devote time to yourself, right? So then you can really, just how you devote eight to nine, you know, from nine to uh, eight to nine, nine to five, maybe on a job, right? That's eight hours of work. Maybe you do an hour of workout every day. Let's just, just say, right? So that's nine hours a day. Then you do like total an hour of social media and all the other things. That's 10 hours. And then you eating all your meals all combined. You're talking about 11 hours. The point is like you, we devote so much time to everything on the outside and we don't do anything for us on the inside. And it's easy to just, instead of sitting there with yourself, to scroll, right? And to be doing, distracting your mind. But that's not gonna help you with your happiness. That's not gonna help you to feel better. That's not gonna help you manage your stress or deal with it, right? And so you feel like anxious and lost and like, oh, I, I, ooh, it's not a good feeling, right? Well, because you you don't you're not devoting that time for yourself to, to spend it with yourself constructively. It's important to have a job, of course. It's important to have friends and hobbies and all those things. But it's also really really important to look inside and be like, okay, uh, how am I doing? <laughs> you know, like what what do I want in life? Is life just about going to work and doing the same shit all over every single day? Does that satisfied you? Does that fulfill your soul, your purpose on this world? And if the answer is no, then you should probably look into that, right? You should probably look into that. So um, let me take a moment here to catch up on the comments. Um, Juliana says, thank you, Medi 
I think she's meditating. Yes, journaling. I just feel so badly for them. I appreciate your feedback. Absolutely, yeah. Meditation is huge. Honestly, it's, it's changed my life completely. Um, it really has. It really. Ever since I, I tapped into that beautiful tool, it's changed my life. And if I don't meditate as often, then I really can feel the difference. I really, really do. So I really do my best to meditate every single day. Um, in some way, shape, or form, either in the mornings or at, in the evenings, but it makes a huge difference. Journaling is important too. Um, it's a beautiful tool. All of these cost absolutely nothing. They're available to you. You just have to want to commit to it or want to try it out. You know, give it a fair, give it a fair chance too. Don't just be like, oh yeah, I tried meditating like six times and uh, it's not for me. <laughs> yeah, it's not for you because you're not used to it, right? You've been, you, you, you trained your mind to think a certain way and, and you know to be out of control your mind where it just goes 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 so it's going to take some time for for you to train it to calm down and it takes some getting used to so i say give it a try for 30 days consistently and then give it a fair fair um judgment right it's like yeah yes it helped me or no it didn't it's very rare that i've ever run into anybody who was like meditation doesn't do anything for me so give it a try and same thing with journaling. It's good to just let it out of your body and just put it in paper. Uh, Isha Poche, I think. Hey you, good evening. Hey, good evening. How's everything? Everything is great, Mr. Handsome. Thank you. I appreciate that. My girlfriend probably does not. <laughs> um, Paula says, preach, exactly true, thank you. Yes, I understand, Juliana, you corrected it. Um, have you ever tried to grab something that doesn't fall in your life? Have you ever tried to grab something? Yvonne says, um, like, have I ever tried something that didn't work out in my life? Is that, is, is that what I, I just wanna make sure I'm understanding you, Yvonne, correctly. Paula, Alex, thank you for today, I love you. Got to get kids to the last day. Okay. Take care, Paula. Please, please, please. Happy, good thoughts, okay? Your surgery is going to go amazing. Just hang in there. You control your reality, okay? Stay there. Wishing you the best for you and your family. And I'll see you tomorrow or at some point. Uh, Juliana says, It seems most of the world is deeply depressed. No matter how properly, how, no matter how they portray themselves on the outside. Okay, I agree with you, Juliana, but my question to you is why do you think that is, right? So if you think that most of the world is depressed, but I think I agree with you in, in many ways. And, and you made a really strong point there. And even on the outside, they may seem like they're, they're doing amazing. Why do you think that is? Um, and then Yvonne, okay, so yes, of course, I've, I've failed many times in my life, although I, I learned not to call it failures. I've, I call them, I've learned so many times, right? I've fallen and I've, I've picked myself up. And I think what I would say to you, Yvonne, is that when those moments comes, come, you have two options. When you want something and it's not working. Either one, you can give up, which a lot of people do, okay? And then complain and say, oh, it wasn't for me. Right? Or, oh, is he here still? Let me make sure. Okay, he's here. Or two, learn from that and understand, okay, this didn't work out, why? Why didn't work out? Was it maybe because I, is there a room for me to, to, to learn from this, right? Or why is it that I want it, right? Maybe it's like, um, for example, uh, when I was, there was a point, yeah, I'll give you this example. There was a point in my life where I had no money. I was broke as a joke, okay? Um, no money, I'm talking about. Zero. <laughs> and I was delivering Amazon packages, ladies and gentlemen. And my car broke. And I burst, I broke down because I had no money. I was eating rice, right? Because that's all I could afford at the time. Um, and I said to myself, I just want to like live. 
I just want to have enough money to live and why is this all happening? I had a really good life, a really good career in the Marines and I feel like my whole world was, was turned over. I was suffering with depression and all this other stuff and I just wanted to get out of it. I wanted to get out of this hole that I was in and it, things just kept happening and happening until I reached complete rock bottom where I had no money, I was completely alone Right, I maxed out my credit card to pay for rent, and I was my car had broken down. I had no money to fix it, and that the only way I was uh, um, I was having some sort of income was by delivering Amazon packages, which I did at the last minute. And now that I couldn't do that anymore either, and I couldn't afford a, a tow truck, so I literally broke down and I started crying, and I was like, "Why is all this happening to me?" Right, so. The reason I share this story with you is because I understand that feeling. I understand that feeling, but I made that decision, right? I, I said, well, I'm either gonna feel sorry for myself and complain and think about all the reasons why this is happening to me and feel shitty, this and that, or I'm gonna get myself out of this freaking hole. And that's the route, that's the choice I made. The, the choices that we make in our lives can really make a huge difference, right? So. Yes, if something is not working out the way you want it to, keep doing something about it. Do something different. Learn from that experience. But don't give up. It's what I would say to you. Um, love these personal stories. Helps to connect. Thank you so much, Allison. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very open. I'm very open on here and, and with even my coaching. Um, I have nothing to hide, I've, I've experienced a lot of things and I'm proud of the person I am today and all my accomplishments. And I do this so people can understand like, and to be an example, like, hey, anything is possible, first of all, because it is. And second of all, to, to know like, hey, uh, people who come from very, very humble beginnings like myself and um, like I was extremely, I grew up really, really poor and I went from that, joining the Marines, serving for seven years, and then going to marketing, then making it to Google, and then being like, wow, I have my dream job, I'm making over six figures, and this and that, and, and I'm, every life is amazing, and to then just being like, I want to make an impact in the world. This is not, the, it's not about the money, I, I, I don't love this, and I want to do something that I'm passionate about. So I left Google to do this, to talk to you, ladies and gentlemen, to do, to be a life coach, um, to help people because I have gone through so much in my life. I say, you know what? I have learned so much that it would be selfish of me not to share this with people and to give people that perspective that they need. And it's not because I read some book or because I watched some movie or whatever. No, these are life experiences that I have that I have. And this is how I teach. This is how um, I help my, my clients, right? So um, yeah, it's my pleasure to, to share all this with you guys. And I've made mistakes and I'm, I have no shame in that. I'm gonna make mistakes in the future too. And that's just, that's how we are. It's an, it's an infinite opportunity to learn and to raise our, our, our vibrations. And that's, to me, it's really a beautiful journey to be in this vessel, to be a human being and, and be able to lead by example and to, to show people that, that things don't have to be the way that they are right now. They can be different. So that's a very long winded answer there. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much, Allison. I really appreciate that. Um, where are you from? Um, tiredness 87. I'm I just went over this. <laughs> I'm from Argentina originally, but been here since 1999. Where are you from? Uh, hello from Poland. Uh, is it? I'm trying to remember how you say hello in Polish. I know, I know, Dak, and which is yes, and Ish. No, it'll come to me. But hello. <laughs> Uh, Heavens Angel, good morning sunshine. Hello Angel. Um, Juliana, thanks so much. She says originally Argentina. Oh, thank you so much. Good looking out. <laughs> thank you so much. 
Juliana, I appreciate that. Uh, hello from Mauritius. I can never say that right. How do you say it? Mauri Mauritius? Mauritius? Thank you for all. You're absolutely welcome, Lola, Sabrina. We appreciate you and your time more than you know. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Angel0429. Appreciate that. Well, Dania says, hey, how's it going? I'm working on becoming a life coach. Good for you, that's awesome. Um, what makes you wanna be a life coach? Like what's, what's, what inspired you or why is it, if you don't mind me asking. I always like to hear, every life coach is different and um, I always like to hear the reason for why, right? Um, mental health is very, has become very popular, I've noticed since the pandemic and you know, uh, to be a life coach is a very big, it's, it's a lot of responsibility. And I always like to know and understand like what is the drive for you to want to connect with somebody and for you to, um, you know, opening that agenda, opening that book to, to, to have somebody's problem and, and you being confident to say, yeah, I can help this person. Um, because it's, it's a big burden, not a burden, excuse me, it's a big responsibility. And if you don't, if you're not ready for that, you can really, really uh, do damage more than help to other people. So um, I've seen some great coaches and I've seen some like, uh, why you're giving our, our reputation a really, uh, our coaches a really bad um, rep. So I don't like to really throw it out there. I'm just, I, I just like to help people. I'm, a, I'm like a guide is what I always say. Um, I guide people to, to, to their light, to their inner light, to their, their full potential. That's, that's what I'm here to do. Um, I don't like titles personally, so um, yeah. But yes, let me know what, what's your reasoning. Hello from, yes, thank you, Juliana. I'm your, thank you, thank you, Juliana, appreciate that. Life is funny at times. Life, life can always be funny, my friend, Yvonne. Life can always, life can be anything you want it to. Life is amazing. Life is, life is um, sad, it's great, is adventurous, is exciting, is everything and nothing at all. <laughs> it's whatever you want it to be. That's what life is, so 100%. Allison says, my great grandmother was from Argentina. Oh, cool. Her name was Esther. Esther, yeah, Esther is a very popular song in Argentina. Uh, song, sorry. <laughs> popular name in Argentina, that's awesome. My past childhood trauma, ex-husband cheated with my sister causing trauma. Ooh, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. That's, that's some heavy stuff right there. Um, never so are you specializing in relationships or in trauma or do you like just curious um, thank you for sharing that really appreciate you sharing that with all of us um, Allison 8167 says well GD relevated wait revealed those two they're not a year level sorry for that experience I don't know what's going on there <laughs> but okay, sometimes guys, these comments throw up like, uh, they throw me off a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, family can hurt us the most. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely true. I think that, um, I think that pain is such a gift because it, it without pain, we don't know what great, like, Okay, let me, how can I put this? Let me put it this way, actually. You know, um, I have no association with my parents or this. Okay, uh, you know, my parents, my mom was not a very nice lady, okay? She beat the shit out of me emotionally, physically, and mentally, okay? And my dad did too, and he was like a Nazi. He was not a very kind person, but he changed, they both changed a lot, by the way. I love them both very much, um, but they really fucked me up, all right? They really did. They, I grew up feeling really, really uh, angry because I was getting physically, mentally, and emotionally abused 
at home. And then, um, you know, when we first came to the States, I didn't speak English very well, if, if any. And I was having a hard time making friends. People were making fun of me and stuff. And it just, it really pissed me off. So I was just an angry child. And my mom never said I love you. She never was passionate or any of that. Um, and so, yeah, that caused a lot of pain in my life. That caused a lot of really difficult lessons, especially when I started to get into relationships and they didn't have a healthy relationship, you know, themselves. So I watched them, all the terrible things, all the shitty habits they had. And I started to realize like, I don't want to be like this, right? Um, and, and what happens is, you know, when I was studying sociology, that's when it really opened my eyes um, really the most because sociology is, is the study of groups of people rather than psychology is like one, right, um, per se. So they start you with your family, understanding your family members first, and then you spread the group and all that. And, and you understand how um, everything is impacted, right, and everything is connected. And think of your generation of your family as a chain, right? So, you know, your parents' parents and their parents' parents, it's just a chain. And it's a chain of behavior. Sometimes they get, that gets modified a little bit here and there. Other times, um, no, it doesn't. And it just keeps, keeps on going, right? It keeps on going, it keeps on going until somebody comes and does this, breaks off the chain and realizes that that's what I did with, with my family. I realized like all the things that I did not want for me or in my life. And that was a huge realization. And I understood why my parents were the way they were because of how their parents were, right? My grandparents to them. And so they didn't know any better. And then that helped me understand why I had so much anger, why I had so much pain in my heart. And it really gave me perspective and I didn't, judge them because I understood what, what was going on. What it, it's like, they didn't know any better, right? They did the best they could. And, um, and, and so when, when, when you do that, when you, when you understand that you're able to now say, okay, I know why I am this way and I don't want to be like this anymore. I don't want to pass this down to my children. Oh, I don't want to just live like this. I don't want to experience this. So, um, so it's your decision to change those habits that unfortunately you've learned all, all of your life, right? And that can seem like overwhelming, but it doesn't have to take a lifetime. It can take, you know, a year or less. Maybe uh, um, I've seen people make remarkable changes in the month, right? Depending on how determined you are and how persistent you stay. But the point I'm trying to make is we can learn so much from our parents. We can learn so much from understanding why we are the way we are. But if if we don't have that clear understanding of ourselves, then forget about it. Like how are you gonna, of course you're gonna feel lost. Of course you're gonna feel frustrated and confused and, and all these emotions because you're not, you don't know who you are really. You don't understand why you are the way you are. Why you, you have the life that you have. And it's not about being like, oh, I'm, fucking pissed at my parents, they give me this life. The blaming game doesn't do anything constructive. So what's more constructive is saying, you know what, this really sucks, really, really sucks that I had to experience this, but I'm, I'm grateful that I see this now and I understand it and that I have an opportunity to change how I feel, to change my story, that I don't have to have that same story. I don't have to be a part of that chain like my parents and grandparents and generations upon generations have in my family. And that is a beauty, beautiful thing, is, is when you have that realization and you take that approach, you will see mountains move in your world. And most importantly, you will feel that tightness in your chest is gonna do this. You're going to be able to breathe, right? You're going to start to heal. You're going to start to elevate your vibration. You're going to start to feel happier. You're going to start to feel better about yourself. And, and you're going to feel the cloudiness, the unknowns and all this other stuff all of a sudden become more clear. And that is going to make you feel more calm and more assertive. And it's just 
That's the that it is all possible for every single one of you that's on this live right in this live on or in on in this live right now. I think it's in or on. I don't know. But <laughs> um, do you understand what I'm saying? Um, does that make sense to everybody? Uh, that's just my thought about family that they can teach us so much but it's all about having that perspective and it's all about like willing to not do this right and just say okay this is what it is let's change that all right let me read some of these comments because i'm behind uh we can only change the cycle 100 percent did you tell girls on dates or in in relationship with wait did you tell girls did you tell girls on dates or in relationship relationships with I've always been afraid to reveal family trauma I think are you asking me oh okay um, are you asking me <laughs> I don't know Allison who um, is that if, is that for a heaven's angel or or was that a question for me? Sorry, Ivan says. But it seems being mentally, physically is random and everywhere. It seems being mentally, physically is random and everywhere. Um, I'm not sure I understand that one. Sorry, sorry, Ron. Can you help me a little bit? Break the cycle. Yes, I'm teaching my four daughters totally different life. Good, good for you. I'm so happy to, to hear that. Ivan says, so moving from Argentina to US and England had a great sad story behind it. Yeah, well, uh, the sad story, it's not, I don't, I don't really see it as a sad story. I mean, there's a lot of things that I've experienced in my life um, from how I grew up very poor to my time in Argentina to then in the States, my time in the military when I was in the Marines, um, lost a lot of friends, um, experienced a lot of trauma in my personal life and while I was in the military and then getting out, you know, dealing with the divorce because I was dealing with PTSD and all this, it's, it's not really a sad story, it's just life. It's just what happened in my life and these challenges that came and and now that I am like the best that I've ever been in my life, you know, and continue to improve, I understand why it all happened. You know, I understand because I have clients that have really serious trauma, like, and I can relate to them, right? I have clients that have been sexually raped and or sexually abused. I have clients who have seen people die in front of them. You know, I have clients who um, have experienced like really traumatic mental and, and emotional abuse. All these things that I've experienced, right, have allowed me to connect with people. And then by connecting with them, I can I under, I know exactly what they're feeling for the most part and how to help them get out of there because I got out of there, right? So I don't look at them as sad stories. I just look at them as just experiences that, that, that have happened in my life and, and um, I share them with you guys because um, I'm just being vulnerable with you all and, and letting you know like why I do what I do and, and everything that I, all the advice and all the happiness that you see is very genuine and, and again, it's, it's just coming from a place of like, hey, this can be yours, but I wasn't always like this. You know, I wasn't, wasn't always like this. I had that drive, of course, um, but I experienced a lot of pain in my life and it really was challenging. I had a lot of challenges. Now I'm in my 30s, you know, and, and I'm, I feel great. And, and that's how long it took me uh, pretty much up until my late 20s to figure it out. And that's, I'm very grateful for that because I have clients that they're in their 40s and 50s and um, 60s actually, even, even still, and they're like, I don't know, life is, I don't know, I feel like I'm, I don't know what life is, I have everything but I have nothing and um, I've just been able to learn a lot in my in my young 30, 30 plus years of life um, and uh, yeah, that's that's what I what I was trying to, to sh I'm sharing that so you can understand that, 
Just speaking from to my soul. Thank you, um, Heaven's Angel. I needed this. Thank you. You're very welcome. You hear this so much. Hey, Rainier. Thank you so much, Maria. How you doing, Perry? Hi. How are you doing today? God bless you. All Jesus loves you. Thank you so much, Perry. I really appreciate you, and I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much, uh, Living Dead Girl. Says, hey, bestie. How's it going? Yes, Eduardo, how you doing? Definitely, all of those experiences are incredible opportunities to learn and grow. Yeah, I mean, so if we could, if we can look at it from that angle, right? If you t tomorrow or yesterday had a shitty day, if you could just be like, how can I learn from this? Then you will be better off in life. But if you're just like, beat yourself up and are just pissed off and you know don't deal with that opportunity that um, for you to grow it's gonna come back it's you're gonna experience it. you're gonna be in this cycle the same keeps happening right if you don't change if you don't elevate that th you're gonna stay in that room it's just a fact so a lot of people that I talk to like I tell them I give them all the tools and and everything on what to do and the most like famous words are well, it's too hard. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Well, yeah, life, I mean, things are challenging, right? Of course. I mean, but why have that perspective? Why focus on that? Because it's easier, you know, and people don't sometimes want to do the work. So they rather just complain and just feel shitty and, and do nothing about it. And they don't realize if they're just willing to be brave and get out of their comfort zone and face their fears and just say, you know what, I'm fed up, I'm done living like this, I'm going to make a conscious decision and choice to change my life, right? That's a, that's a choice you have to make. You're going to continue to experience the same shit every day. I'm telling you right now. So. I literally have told people, I'm sorry, I can't work with you if you're not willing to to be determined to make changes, right? And and it's not worth it. I will not, I'm not going to do that. So um, you have to be willing to, uh, what's up with this music? To 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 say, you know what, I'm, I'm tired of living like this. I'm going to make the changes. Okay. Um, Heavens, I think she, she's out, so have a great one. Uh, Kaylee says, hola, how you doing? Yvonne, hope you visit Argentina at times because there's still lifetime memories. Oh, I do, 100%. Um, I was there two or three years now. I think it's been three years. Wow, it has been three. It's been three years. Uh, obviously, because of the pandemic, you know, I wasn't be it. That's a whole year too. So maybe like maybe four years now, three three or four years. I can't remember, but um, yeah. I mean, I've 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 gone there um, back, but I also want to explore the world um, and create new memories and connect with new people. And this, this is a beautiful world we live in. So um, we're I'm going to Mexico in August. I've never been to Mexico. <laughs> I've been all many different parts of the world, but I haven't been to Mexico, so it's super close. So I'm like, eh, why not? So we're, we're going to be going to Mexico to Tulum just to relax. Um, but yeah, I want to start traveling and connecting with people. And uh, I'm actually going to be wanting to do like, like get really big Airbnbs like in different places around the world and host events, like one or two day events. And where I show people like, Work out. We work out in the mornings. We do meditation. We do, we do energy work, and we. I help you, and I show you all the tools. Um, uh, kind of like a workshop or course type of deal. So that's something I'm working on and building. Um, so I will be announcing it here, uh, nevertheless. But yeah, I. Yeah, I agree with you, Ivan. There's a lot of great memories, but I love making new memories. So. Yes. All right. I'll take a few, a few more questions and topic, and and then I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, Eduardo says, "Nice man. Gonna love Mexico. I'm super stoked, brother. Super, super stoked. And we're gonna be in Tulum and in Cancun. Um, so I, I know it's very touristy, but Tulum is is more chill. We're gonna be in Azulik, 
um, that's, I don't know if you heard of it, but really excited. It's like all natural result. Like they don't have any electricity or um, anything like that. So it's just all made out of like a tree, like wood and, and it's really cool. Um, but yeah, that's where we're gonna be staying for I think three nights and then we're gonna be going to Cancun. Um, but yeah, super excited just to disconnect, man, and uh, just be one with the beach, <laughs> the ocean, and uh, yeah, looking forward to it. Maybe if you're close, how close are you to, to those places, Eduardo? Uh, Jerry, or is it Jerica Cologne? Cologne says, you need to visit Puerto Rico. Well, no, I'm in Seattle, but totally, now I'm in Seattle, but totally recommend it. Absolutely, thank you so much. My brother just went to Puerto Rico. He absolutely loved it. I saw the pictures and videos, it was gorgeous. So 100%, my life goal is to visit every country, as many, as many countries as I can possibly um, in the world. So that's one of my goals in life. <laughs> um, those are amazing places. You're gonna love Tulum and Cancun. Those places have really cool vibes. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that, man. Super stoked for it. Um, but yeah, so I wanna leave you all with this. Um, first of all, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for you know being here in this moment with me, listening to me, and I really hope that I sparked something in you. I sparked some sort of hope or motivation or maybe a thought, or something to think about. And whatever you do after this and on to your weekend, I just wanna say that, uh, that you remember that life is what we make it and that you're an amazing human being, okay? And that anything that you want is possible, you just have to believe it. You have to believe that you can be happy, you have to believe it that things can get things will get better you have to believe and want to feel good with yourself and if you are afraid of doing that or if you don't know how to do that hit me up that's why i'm a life coach you know so i'm i'm more than happy to work with you i'm more than happy to help you and i will it would be a true honor and pleasure i've helped thousands of people around the world and this is why i show up here this is why i do this because this is what I am passionate about and I want this feeling that I have for you all as well. So please have an amazing weekend. Thank you so much for all of your support, for all of your encouragement, for all your beautiful words. You're amazing, you're beautiful, and you're one of a kind. So have, go out, have an amazing uh, weekend, and live your life to the fullest. All right, take care everybody.